Oh, good morning, everyone. Saturday, the 10th of June, and it's a beautiful day. So, just thought I'd give you a quick look around the back garden. So I've got some plants over here which will move around in the sun in the morning as it's uh, in the shade in the greenhouse and over there until about half nine, ten, something like that. So I'll just move the plants around and uh, got my single seed potatoes here and um, this one and this one here, these two little ones. They've been in the greenhouse like that all week. I thought, you know, I'm not going to bother bagging them, see if they root or not. But they're looking quite green. There's no roots at the bottom, but I'm, I'm presuming now because they're still quite rigid or turgid um, that they've rooted. So hopefully, I'll get these in tomorrow. I'll give them another day just to get a bit more roots in there, fill the pots out. Now these are pongo beans from Bill and Bow, and uh, they're doing pretty well. I earthed them up with a bit more soil, just to give them a bit more support. And I think they're almost going to flower soon. Just in there, look, and at the top there. So they're looking reasonably well. I've got a couple of pumpkins I'm going to put out at the allotment today. So I'm going to dig up my swift potatoes, because they're doing awful. And, um, yeah, apparently lots of people are having problems with their potatoes. Um, Fiona Grow's having problems, Mike at so Grow Eats having problems, Duncan's having problems apparently. I've had a few problems, so if anyone else is having problems with their potatoes, please leave it in the comments. Um, I've got some runner beans in here which I chitted in a bag. I put about 50 seeds in and there's, you know, about 40 germinated okay so far. So I'll just pop them in some half in toilet rolls, you can't really see under there. Let me just lift it up a bit. I've in toilet rolls and just uh, in some fairly big deep pots for the other ones. And um, yeah, I was going to give some away, but I just wanted to see how they do in the slightly deeper cardboard tubes. But I probably won't be planting in the cardboard tubes because I've heard that it restricts the root growth. So, well, because they don't rot away too quick. So, quickly look over here. I've got some celery, which is probably going to go out today or tomorrow or something I'll see how much space I've got because basically I might have to dig my onions up because they're not looking very good at the allotment either I'm having quite a few problems this year well, onions I'll show you what's going on with my onions so these are leaves these have been these have been in the greenhouse but let's get out of the sun you can see all this twisted growth here this is happening on nearly all my onions at the allotment and someone said I think John said it's onion frips or something so I'm going to try and get these out and have a look. But um, strange that these have been affected and they're not even at the allotment. Got some extra sweet corn there, just as spares. Um, basically, um, yeah, sweet corn at the allotment. Two have been pulled out already. And I just want to show you how dry it is here. Obviously, you can see the gaps around. The uh, floor there. I did actually water this crack here the other day for last night because it was <laughs> gaping really. So you can see it's really dry, but overall, I mean, I haven't watered the whole lawn, I've just watered that little crack there yesterday. It's uh, not looking too bad. I mean, there's a bit here where scouts try to dig and lie in it, <laughs> but uh. Yeah, it's cracking up quite badly, but overall, the lawn's looking fairly healthy this time of year. So, the side keeps spinning around. Um, the brassicas and everything doing all right in here are looking pretty good. This broccoli's got a head on it already. Um, yeah, really happy with all these brassicas, this sort of side. This bit over here, because it's a bit darker, um, a bit more moist when it rains, um, things got hammered by slugs. And, um, yeah, not really done as well as over here, but this has done really well here. Got quite a few raspberries at the back, pear trees. I'm going to need to trim back the branches back to the fruit soon, like you do on the apple trees, back, you know, like a summer prune. I've got two kaolettes. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Can you see the size of them? That one. And there's one just behind there as well. That is massive. 
Oops, sorry, zoom back out. So, Kent blue peas were flowering like mental the other day when I came back off holiday. And look how many peas on there. It's covered. These are Nipa Sultra. Look how they're going higher than the washing line. So I'm going to try and train them along the washing line. These are the King Tut peas, and these are covered in peas as well. But I mean, <laughs> I think I've underestimated the size of them because it's like a wall of peas and everything in the little greenhouse here has just been swamped. So that's just the like germinating seed, really. I'll move everything out of there during the day to get a bit more sun. Got some garlic hanging up in the back there and just down there. These potatoes in here are from the estima what i first harvested a little while back and one of them is starting to grow again in fact i probably need to move it out in the sun so yeah just a couple of little pots of flowers up there that i do need to prick out today and in this pot here are my colleen potatoes which look like they're ready to be picked and some broad beans and i've been picking these broad beans and i was saving them to pick these last ones this weekend because my mum's coming up with her husband and they used to love picking board beans but unfortunately they're not coming now so I'm gonna have to harvest these very soon because I'll need the uh, compost and the container but uh, there's six potatoes in there and three board beans so I'm really excited to see the potato yield in that and see if it's comparable with the last one I did um, which grew cauliflowers in not cabbages so I'm glad um, AD pointed that out to me in the comment section. He pays more attention to my videos than I do. <laughs> so basically I need one of those containers to put down here and put these three cucumbers in. And um, yeah, that's just going to live there. And I'll train them up onto the string coming up to the roof here. This other cucumber here, the Socrates F1, all of them died, they just killed over and died. But I've had two cucumbers off this one, and there is another little one forming here. But to be honest, the, the stems just keep going like that. I don't know if you can see properly. That's better, better lighting. Um, yeah, they just seem to sort of flop over, go like that and die. So I thought it had started to pull through, but um, yeah, I don't think it has. But uh, I'm having some good success with my peppers this year. I've never grown them before. And uh, yeah, I've got some fairly decent sized peppers growing there. They look a bit like chili peppers, but they're um, Palomo from what we say from the shop. And these are the sweet mix ones. Got a nice little yellow one there growing. So yeah, quite a, quite a good selection of peppers. Um, I've got Jay's ghost peach here still, which hasn't done anything. I've got some side shoots of tomatoes there and here. And these are for my mum, who was supposed to come up this weekend, but they're coming up next weekend now. So hopefully I can get all these extra flowers and um, well, the flowers for them, the tomatoes all sorted out. I'm hoping these in here are um, melons. My first sowing of melons, which didn't look like they were doing very well, but actually perked up and done quite well now. This is the second sowing of melons because the first sowing didn't do that well, and that one has died, unfortunately. So, uh, Amir and uh, Minnesota Midget. In fact, the Amir, one of them's died, and the Minnesota Midget's still doing okay. They were sent from Bill and Bow as well. Um, another broccoli, but bit of a mutant one it's kind of grown into two so i'm just wondering whether i should snap one off and let all the energy go into one but i might just leave it as a double one see what happens this is a big max pumpkin what's been like that for about five days now and it hasn't really sort of got out the soil properly yet got some little home saved marigold seeds there little potato home saved potato what i found in a you know random pot somewhere which didn't have no soil in, and uh, yeah, so I just popped it in there, and <laughs> that's growing. So that's either an Estima or a Maris Piper from last year. This squash here is an unknown one, what was growing amongst the corn, and um, yeah, I just pulled it out and popped it in some soil, that's <laughs> allotment soil. So uh, that's doing okay. 
Um, got a few snowball turnips down there. Got some asparagus just down there. And then my tomato is all absolutely flying. Um, these ones here are going to tie some more string up to the roof because we've reached, reached the uh, first little wire here. But they're all flowering. Got some tomatoes down here coming, quite nice. These are sun gold, so hopefully they should be ripe in the next couple of weeks, three weeks maybe. But uh, yeah, I've got quite a few tomatoes coming, good trusses. I've been tickling them to help her. Uh, you know, get a few earlier tomatoes, just to help pollinate them. And also, any little side shoots of, like this, even tiny little ones at the top, I just uh, pull them off as soon as I see them, because that obviously saps the energy from, from the main shoot. But uh, yeah, they're all doing really well. These ones here are a bit smaller, because I planted these ones um a bit later and these didn't have no lights to start them off with or anything so i'm still happy with these really and these are zucker traub i've got a couple of little flower trusses on there too and we've got some kestrel potatoes in a little pot here they're doing really well these are pink fur and um, sarpo mira in this long container down here We've got a wine cap mushrooms, which I think there's some spores in there. So I'm hoping to have a chat with Scott from Cuckoo Cottage to see what I've got to do next with them. Some garlic in a pot, which I'm probably going to um, tip out at some point soon. It's not done as well as the allotment garlic. It's not as thick. Um, so I'm not expecting great results really from that. But anything will be better than nothing. So, yeah, not too bad. It looks like I'm getting a few carrots fattening up in there, you can see that, the little ones there in the pot, this broccoli what we harvested has now started to get little side shoots on, so I'm happy with that, it's a monster this plant, absolutely monster, <laughs> and I've not had no problems with it at all, I did notice that there's some white fly on the leaves yesterday and that, I'll just give it a little spray with a hose to wash them off, but we haven't seemed to have done any damage or anything. So yeah, all my potatoes at home are looking really healthy and fine. I've been getting problems at the allotment. I'll be doing a, a video later on about that. So another pot of carrots here. This is where the potatoes were I pulled out the other day to harvest. Um, yeah, which are pretty nice. The collie ones, highly recommend them. I don't think they're quite as nice as the estima, but it was a cl very close second. So yeah, I've got to prick out all these flowers today and uh, pop them on. I haven't really done a lot, they just sat there for months. <laughs> I mean, I'll, this week they've suddenly decided to grow. So um, yeah, they're definitely need potting on this week. So uh, yeah, thanks for joining me in the garden for this little tour to show you this beautiful coloured flower here. This is the same ones I've got the allotment in the corner. So I'll show you the other ones later on. But, uh, oh yeah, a Japanese anemone. This is what Manda Moo's um, got in her garden. She moved it and uh, mine didn't flower last year because there's a giant hollyhock in front of it. But uh, hopefully this year it should flower. I can't see no flower spikes yet, but it's getting a lot more light. So yeah, hopefully that'll do well. So thank you very much for watching and uh, goodbye.